No voiceover experience? No problem. Welcome to the morning voiceover huddle. I'm Bill DeWeese, professional voiceover talent, voiceover coach, voiceover demo producer, and proud fan of the greatest rock band of all time, at least one of the greatest bands, rock bands of all time, Boston. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. Welcome. Hey, uh, I've got some really good content for you this morning, uh, which I hopefully you feel that way every morning, uh, but uh, something that I think is kind of a, a hot topic this morning. We'll talk about it in just a moment. But I want to remind you, first of all, that the big spring fever sale is going on. Lots of great training at a very reduced price. The link is below. And so check that out when you get a chance. Also, I always love to see your comments in the live stream chat. And I love it when you take a moment to let me know who you are, where you're watching or listening from this morning. And I so appreciate you being here. Well, yesterday, um, I was uh, talking to the students in my voiceover blueprint. And by the way, we do, we do a live, we have, there's training, live training sessions every weekday, sometimes even more than one uh, for the students of my voiceover blueprint. And yesterday I had to had to get together as we do every Wednesday to do some Q and A, um, and we, we were talking about first steps. You know, those are, who are, who are ju you're just getting started. Because if you look at the Voiceover Blueprint, we've got people in in there who are making hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars a year, or more in Voiceover. And then we, on the other end of the spectrum, we've got people who are brand new, who are just coming into it, who are just kind of getting their sea legs, so to speak, and trying to figure out what's going on. And so I wanted to to talk to them specifically about the opportunities for those who are who are just getting started. And there's been a big flood into the freelance market. I don't mean just voiceover. I just mean in general. You know, people are they're they're leaving the workforce in droves, and everybody wants to be a freelancer. And that's why sites like Upwork and Fiverr and others have just exploded over the past few years. But specifically for those who who are entered in uh, interest, interested in voiceover, it's presented opportunities like, you know, like never before. So it's an exciting time to, to get involved. But unfortunately, a lot of people just really don't know what to do when they first get started. It reminds me of when I first got started in voiceover. And I remember um, early on when I started, when I made my tr transition into voiceover, it was 2006. And uh, it was during the early days of Voice123 and Voices.com. And I remember, I, I'll, never, I'll never forget this, when I, when I discovered Voices.com. And, and so I, I, you know, I, I got my membership, I signed up, you know, paid my, my annual fee, and, and I felt like a kid in a candy store. Because I, you know, there was audition after audition. I couldn't believe all the auditions that were there. And that first weekend, I recorded something like 65 auditions. And I remember thinking, oh man, I can't wait till Monday. I bet my inbox will be full of job opportunities from all of these auditions that I've done. Well, you can probably guess the rest of the story. Monday morning came, Tuesday morning came, Wednesday morning came, weeks went. I, I, I didn't book a single job from all of those auditions. And I had continued to audition after that. Took a while. Why? Because I really didn't know what I was doing. And so the purpose of this video is to give you some solid, actionable information because it's not just enough to say, hey, I want to do that. I'm going to sign up. I'm going to, I'm going to create an account on Upwork.com. I'm going to create an account on Fiverr.com. I'm going to create an account on, on wherever. And it's, what's awesome is that these, these, account, these, these free platforms exist. And it's awesome for those who are just getting started. But let me just share a few things that will be helpful to you. And first of all, you've come to the right place because it really starts with having the proper information. You need information. Who do you get that information from? Get it from somebody who's actually doing it, who has built a successful voiceover business and is doing it. And that's, I mean, over the past 17 years, we were talking to somebody the other day and, you know, many were $3 million over the course of my career and continue to have a very successful career. And you know, and I, as I look back and I remember those first, those first auditions, as I, as I mentioned, you know, trying to, trying to get work and not knowing what I was doing and really feeling like, you know, this thing, I don't just don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know that this is going to work. This might be an effort in futility. And to look a few years down the road, it's like, whoa, yeah, yeah. You know, once you figure it out and you understand, uh, you kind of have the key or the keys to unlock the doors. 
and, and you, you get some momentum, you can become unstoppable. But we're talking about those of you who are brand new and, you know, you're just getting started. So drink deeply from the well that is this YouTube channel, because there's a lot of, I mean, there's like a thousand or nearly a thousand, maybe even over a thousand videos now. It's going, there's, it's a rich resource of information from somebody who's been doing it and continues to do it at a pretty high level. So that's the first thing. But let's get, you know, more specifically, what, what are the things you need to be aware of? Well, you've heard me say this before, and I will continue to say it because it is proven now to be the single most important factor in getting hired. That is your audio. Yeah, it's not the sound of your voice. It's, it's the quality of your audio. Can you believe that? I've been saying this for years, and it was so interesting because Voices.com just released an annual survey within the past, I don't know, a month or two where they surveyed um, voiceover seekers on their platform. And they've got a big sample size to choose from. I mean, they, they, I don't know how many jobs, how many dollars roll through there on an annual basis, but they are a large, large platform. And their survey showed that um, among all the things that people could choose, voiceover seekers, you know, what is the one thing above all that determines whether they will hire somebody or not? It was the quality of their audio. So, you know, what, and what I've been saying to my students for years, when you, when you first get started, make sure that your audio is a okay. That doesn't mean you need to go out and buy a thousand dollar microphone or even a $500 microphone. It doesn't mean you need to have, you need to buy a whisper room. I mean, these tools are helpful, but you need to be in a really good, quiet, well-treated space. I started off with what, you know, a microphone, you can buy 50 bucks online. It was a Marshall MXL microphone. You can buy them used online. I think brand new, you can get them for like 99 bucks. Um, so, you know, and I had an old uh, 1990, circa 98, maybe Windows Dell, huge old desktop. I don't remember the exact year, but I mean, it was old and it was loud. And, uh, but I figured it, you know, I just figured out how to, how to make it happen. And, um, you know, once you get the quality audio, that's the first step. Okay. It's not the only step. But this, it's the first. Next, you need to make sure that what you're doing behind the microphone is what people, you know, what will pay you to do. And by the way, go back to yesterday's video. I had spent the entire morning huddle talking about authenticity. It's not about having a great voice. It's about connecting with people. And what connects with people is, is genuineness, authenticity, bringing you to the party, not who you, you're, who you think you're supposed to be or what somebody wants you to be, but who you truly are. So, and there's a lot of videos on this channel uh, with some really practical suggestions and tips when it comes to performance. So uh, once you get the performance piece down, you've got the uh, quality audio, you've got the performance piece, then what you need is the marketing because without the marketing, I don't care how good you are, you'll never get anywhere. Um, when I first started coaching, I mean, the first people who came to me weren't people who were new. They were people represented by some of like, by Atlas talent. I mean, like some, by some of the biggest agencies in the world, world-class talent. And the first question I would always ask is, well, you know, why are you hiring me? Or how long has it been since you've worked? And it, it was like a year, you know, they would say years, it's been two years, three years since they'd had, since they had received a job. So just because you're represented by some great agency, just because you have world-class talent and great demos doesn't mean you're going to get work. It means uh, you're now you're now ready to go out and get work, and you need to understand how to market yourself and how to use the platforms that are out there, as as well as to be able to take marketing into your own hands and direct market. So, when you put all of those pieces of the puzzle together, you get the right information. You get the right audio. You can do the right performance, and you understand how to market. Once those things begin to come together, there's no stopping you. So. So, you know, no voice, the title of this uh, voiceover, or the, at least the, the message on my cup says, no experience, no problem. And it's not. If you don't have experience, it doesn't mean you can't get involved in voiceover. It doesn't mean you can't get in without learning a few things. Uh, but it's the bar's never been lower in terms of getting exposure. And also, because there are so many freelance platforms, there's a lot of entry-level work that didn't exist several years ago. That's good if you're brand new. You start off at entry level. You're not making the big bucks right at first, but that's where you, that's where you, uh, you know, hone your skills, your performance skills, your recording and editing skills, and you can learn the marketing 
skills that are involved. And from there, you can just make it an upward spiral to greater and greater success. So if you're brand new at this, I just want you to be encouraged. You've come to the right place. It starts again with finding somebody who's actually has done it and has continues to do it and understands how it all works. And so that's what this channel is all about. And if you will follow the steps I've laid out, there's no reason, there is no reason whatsoever that you cannot be successful in voiceover. Let's take a moment to see who's on the stream this morning. All right. And thanks for all the comments here, by the way, guys, I, I always so greatly appreciate it. We've got Mark in Albuquerque, Eric in Michigan, Corey, how are you doing? In Whitehall, Wisconsin, Janet in Florida, Ty in Warsaw, Indiana, Brian in Pensacola, Florida. Hey, Brian. Um, let's see here. Jolie, good morning. Jay King, hello. Anthony and Vivian in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Good morning. Eric, how are you doing? Doug in Greensboro, Marla in Texas. Love the, <laughs> love the shirt. Yeah, thank you, Marla. I love the shirt too. Um, John in Monroeville, Alabama, Steve in Oshkosh. Great. And thanks for, uh, yeah, Steve said he's enjoying the new book. Thank you very much. I, it's available at Target. I didn't know that. I just, uh, for some reason, I, I stumbled across that this morning. Who knew? Maybe Amazon distributes to Target. Maybe that's why. I don't know. I guess I should know, but I don't know. Greg is in Asheville. Neil is in Fairfield. Tim is in Salt Lake. Rob in Reedsville, North Carolina. Or Bob, I should say. I'm sorry, Bob. Hey, John in Rhinebeck, New York. How are you doing? 90 degrees today. Whoa. Scott in Dayton. Sandra in Lake Ozark, Missouri. Getting ready for uh, for Radio Shift and then to my second audio book. Oh, that's awesome, Sandra. You have a great day. We had a good morning from Sherry in New York. Began the spring fever training yesterday. Awesome. Thanks for thanks for getting that spring training fav, uh, fever training. Uh, spring fever training, Sherry. That's what I was trying to say. Thanks for that, Sherry. Uh, I know you're going to enjoy it, but most importantly, put it to good use. And uh, those of you who are saying, what's the spring fever sale? Well, it's almost over. So go below in the description, click the link, check it all out. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Rusty in Marquette, Michigan. Lisa in Thurmont, Maryland. Loves the book. Thank you, Lisa. I'm so grateful for your honest and clear information. Now, thank you. Gertie in Belgium, how are you doing this afternoon? Dr. Bob, always good to see you on the stream. Tess <laughs> loves the shirt in Tequila, Georgia. Thank you very much. You know, I, I got this album. It came out in 1976. I was like a junior in high school. It immediately became my favorite album. I just, the sounds, the what they were putting out was just, it was blowing my mind at the time. And I ended up, I burned through, how many vinyl records have I worn out? I think I ended up, going through three records over the course of my life and a cassette and then went to CD. And of course now it's all digital, but I, I wore through a lot of vinyl and digital over the years, listening to this album, especially the first album uh, over and over and over again. And I still pull out my guitar and, and jam along sometimes. Uh, let's see here. Good morning from just outside Indianapolis. So, and another comment on the t-shirt. Thank you. We've got AG in India. Good morning or good evening to you. Sandra, it's another warm one in Westerville, Ohio. Maggie, good morning to you in Pittsburgh. Thank you. Michelle in Indianapolis. Tom and Rhonda check it in. Good morning to you guys. Hey, Bob in Wadsworth, Ohio. Mark, I'm just starting out in training. I'm 56 years old. No clue what I'm doing. Well, then you came to the right place. I believe in myself. Thank you for being you. Very helpful. Thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> here's a comment. Cold calling is the secret sauce. It certainly can be. You know, actually, I'm putting together a live training event. It will be later this month. We start promotion on it Monday. It will be on Tuesday night, April 25th. It's all, it's going to be all about marketing and my marketing system, but primarily we'll focus on the direct marketing, which I think is the most underutilized aspect of a marketing plan. Most people just don't, don't understand it or don't do it. And, um, so be watching for your chance to participate in that live training event. 
Um, Rachel. Oh, your videos are always so inspiring. Thank you, Rachel. Hey, Chad in Daytona Beach. Let's see here. Hey, Rob, how are you doing in Wake Cross, Georgia, headed to Key West? Oh, wow. Safe travels, my friend. Have fun. That's awesome. Albert is in Lorraine, Ohio. Jeff. Oh, thank you for the kind remarks. Cindy, good morning to you in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, it's either Todd Barsness or, or one of his many sons commenting about uh, a VOMarketingPro.com, by the way. Uh, if, if you're in a position where you're, you know, you got your pro demo, you've got some experience, you're ready, and, and you've got more money than you do time and you need to outsource your direct marketing, VOMarketingPro.com. VOMarketingPro, those guys are, they're awesome. Uh, that's who I hired to do my direct marketing. Those guys are amazing. Albert, uh, let's see here, signed up on ACX. Good, good deal. Remy in Tulsa. Mr. Landers in Bingham, uh, Bing, Binghamton. Sorry, I want to say Bingham. Binghamton, New York, where everyone is perfect and nothing ever goes wrong. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I think we all, we all need to move there, that's for sure. Let's see here. Got the premium training package from you. Really enjoying it. Thank v Vicky for me for all the communication. Yeah, I will do that. Vicky. Uh, my wife runs the office here for my the voiceover training business uh, because there's just a lot of customer service that goes with that, you know, taking care of people. And she is the best at that. She's a, she's a really great, she truly is a great person. So um, I've got a great team that I work with, uh, a number of them, my family members, which is awesome. Hey, Preston in Rochester, how you doing? Good, Anthony in Concord, North Carolina. And Lind from California. Guys, thanks again for being here. I appreciate it. So even if you're brand new, it's, it's easy to get discouraged and overwhelmed and you think, well, you know, there's no room at the table for me. And even if there was, you know, wh what do I do? How do I do it? Well, I've shared those steps with you today. So, you know, take a deep dive into this channel. There's a lot of information to discover. And then if you really want to get into a comprehensive training program, you know, go below, click the link, get all that information, uh, but move forward because it can, it is, be, is being done and there's no reason why you should not as well. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.